Hello everyone, this is Cybertoday.com. The today's subject is what is DNS cache poisoning attacks. Let's start with, what is the DNS? DNS or domain name system is essentially a directory contains domain names like google.com and microsoft.com and their associated IP addresses. The main function of DNS is to translate domain names that people can understand into IP addresses, which computers can understand. We see here if I ping google.com, my PC will know that google.com IP address is 142.250.181.110. This happened using DNS service. How DNS works. The DNS work is following simple steps. 1. User writes web domain name like google.com or yahoo.com in his browser address box. 2. The computer tries to search for the IP of the website locally in computer cache. 3. If the IP of the website was not found in the computer local cache then the computer will contact the network DNS server or ISP DNS to get the IP. 4. DNS server provides the IP address of the website. What is DNS caching? The internet DNS information is not saved in one server. Each ISP and company has their DNS server which get and cache data received from other servers. Even your internet router and your computer will cache the DNS data of websites you visit to make your browsing faster. So it does not need to go again to DNS provider to look for IP address. What is the DNS cache poisoning attack? DNS cache poisoning, also known as DNS spoofing, is a type of cyber attack that exploits vulnerabilities in the domain name system. DNS to insert false information in DNS to forward internet traffic away from legitimate servers towards fake ones. For example, if the IP address of the bank x.com is 10.10, 10.10, the attacker will change the data in DNS table and replace the IP of x.com from correct IP address to fake IP address to point you to his server and steal your data. Examples of DNS cache poisoning attacks. April 2018. A major DNS cache poisoning attack compromised Amazon's DNS servers, redirecting users to malicious websites. November 2011, a large-scale attack on ISPs in Brazil routed traffic from popular sites, including Google, Gmail, and Hotmail to a web page that installs malicious Java applets. December 2009, hackers redirect traffic from Twitter to their own website. July 2008, a major DNS cache poisoning attack on at and DNS servers. Many websites become unavailable to millions of web users. How to protect your network from DNS cache poisoning? 1. DNS servers should be set up so that only services that are required are allowed to run. Having not required services running on a DNS server just increases the attack vector space. 2. Make sure that the most current version of DNS is being used. The newer version of Bind has features such as cryptographically secure transaction ID and port randomization, which can help prevent cache poisoning attacks. 3. End user education is also very important in preventing these attacks. End users should get training on identifying suspicious sites and to not click the ignore button if they receive an SSL warning before connecting to a site. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to press like if you like the video and subscribe.